Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also import files into the organizer and Photoshop elements in bulk by selecting folders that contain photos or videos to import. To do this, open the Photoshop Elements Organizer window and then select File, Get Photos and Videos, in bulk from the mini bar, or click the Import drop down button at the left end of the shortcuts bar and select the In Bulk command to open the Import Media dialog box. At the left side of the dialog box is the Import from Following Folders list. This list contains any folders you have added as Watch folders in Windows. You can also add other folders to this list. You can click a folder within this list to see the media that it contains in the panel to the right. To add more folders to the Import from Following Folders list, click the Add Folder button at the bottom of the list. The Browse for Folder dialog box then opens. Use this dialog box to navigate to the folder to add and click it to select it. Then click the OK button to add that folder to the list. In Windows, folders that are added to this list are also set as Watch folders by default. This notifies you whenever new files are added to this folder. To disable this feature, click the Watch Folder button to the right of the folder name. You can enable it again if desired by clicking the same button again to enable the Watch folder. To remove a folder from the import from the following folders list, select the folder to remove from the list. Then click the Remove button at the bottom of the list. The folder and its contents will be removed from the import from following folders list. No changes will be made to the contents of the folders removed from this list. After adding all the folders you want to the import from following folders list, then decide which folder's contents to import. To do this, ensure there is a check mark in the checkbox to the left of the folder name from which you want to import files. Any folder with a check mark will have all its contents imported into the organizer folders. Then click the Import button in the bottom right corner of the dialog box to import the contents of the selected folders. If you decide not to import images after opening the Import Media dialog box, click the Cancel button at the bottom of the dialog box to cancel the operation and close the dialog box instead. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.